discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of What's in the Box? I told you, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep saying it like that. And if you don't know what that reference is from, uh, go watch a movie called Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. It's amazing. Um, if you do, then you're awesome. Uh, but anyway, let's just jump right in. This is a pretty big box. It is heavy. Weighs probably like 45 to 300 pounds. Um, kind of like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> uh, it's so fucking stupid. I mean, it, it's not. I mean, 50 to... Wow. Anyway, that's whatever. Whatever. You guys aren't here to hear about my shitty exes. You're here to see what I got. And the first thing on the top is Mansions of Madness Beyond the Threshold, the expansion to Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. Uh, I'm going to let you guys know I don't really know much about um, the stuff I bought because I just buy stuff because I'm in need of help. Um, but this one I'm excited for because I absolutely loved the the base game, but I guess it adds Yogg Sothoth, and I wonder how many, how many new uh, scenarios uh, it adds, because, I mean, I recently just did the one that's like four hours long, five, four to six hours long. Um, not what I was expecting, but, but interesting, so it's good to know that there's variation. Alright, now this one I am excited about. This is a lot bigger than I was expecting as well. Elder Tor, the Dreamlands, and, and so far, so far, nothing, no, uh, no, no, I don't know why I said nothing, no crushes on these, so that's, that's exciting, um, but yeah, the Dreamlands, Elder Tor is an, is an amazing game, they just keep putting more and more out for it, uh, this one's gonna be really intriguing, because it does bring out a new sideboard, here's the problem with Elder Tor, though, is that you can't really, um, incorporate all the expansions. You kind of have to hope you get them based on the prelude, or you can choose. I randomly do everything, so maybe that's my problem. Um, but I guess you could do two. You could do if you get like the certain uh, ancient one and then the certain prelude card. So, I mean, you, you, you still get the variation. But anyway, I'm really excited to, try to test this out. Uh, I, can't, I cannot wait to add this stuff to my already enormous collection of Elder Tour stuff. I think they're trying to top how much they, uh, they, they did for Arkham Horror. Alright, alright, I'm gonna have to stand up. Alright, yeah, so next is Fuse. This is a very interesting real-time game that basically takes the same elements as, you know, Escape or Space Alert or every other real-time game out there. Because this one's also 10 minutes, that is about defusing a bomb. Basically, I got this because Kat really likes real-time games. She really likes Escape, so I think that she would really like um, uh, Fuse. Wow, did not know that they put stickers on here. Did not know Rado got stickers. That's awesome. Uh, so this was on Rado's top ten of 2015. Let's just get that off of there. I don't want I don't want him getting praise. No, that's that's really cool that he gets those stickers now. Um, so it must be good because I tend to like the games that he likes. Well. Not really, but uh, some of them. Uh, all right, what else? Ooh, another one. I'm just reaching in here. Aha, uh -huh. I'm gonna pull this one out, hopefully with, with the expansion. Yep, all right. The Grizzled, I got a lot of small games, actually. The Grizzled and its expansion, The Grizzled at your orders. This game just seems super fun, uh, super friendly, and super easy to teach, kind of more of a gateway game um, basically about can friendship be stronger than war and so it's 100% cooperative with a little bit of uh, twist elements in it I I think it's it's gonna be interesting um, I know that this one added you know a two-player variant and a solo variant so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try the solo variants um, but I first saw funny enough Rado play this and it just seemed very intriguing uh, and the artwork just seems, it looks, it's, I mean, it's not like amazing artwork, not like, but it, it was meant to be uh, done this way, I would I would assume, by Cool Mini or not. So I'm excited for the Grizzle and its expansion at your orders. Next, I know there's more, I need help. Um, 
Lords of Middle Earth, the War of the Ring expansion. I cannot tell you how long I have been trying to get this because it's always been out of stock. I don't know what what brought it back, but I know this adds Treebeard. I believe it adds the Balrog. It just adds more and more uh, characters to an already great game. Um, I, I'm excited to just test this out because I love that game, so I definitely needed all of the uh, expansions for it. So, that is Lords of Middle-Earth. Just set that right on there. Alright. Oh, yes. Yay! Oh, yes. And then I got Scythe Invaders from Afar. A lot of expansions. I, I, I really uh, went all out for all the expansions. You guys, have, if you haven't seen my run-through, go check out you know, my scythe run through and the discussion, but I absolutely loved this game. I knew f as soon as I was done playing it that I needed to get this expansion. I really want the board expansion, but that is out of stock. More, more than likely I won't get it, but it adds the two, the two um, uh, factions that weren't in the base game, and I'm really digging their miniatures. Um, their two miniatures on the back, uh, their characters on the back look way more detailed. I would have to check and see if they are, but I'm I'm excited, excited for this. So that was Scythe Invaders from Afar. Next, uh, the Others. Yep, okay, I thought there was more to that. I thought there was Others, Seven Sins or something like that. Uh, yeah, I played this. Man, this, this has some bulk to it. Like, the back is kind of, good thing I didn't rip. Actually, everything is packaged really well. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. But the others, um, I, I just had to get it. I, I played it once and I was like, you know, I don't know, because it seems kind of like Zombie Side. I didn't really care for Zombie Side. I've heard Black Plague is really good. I'd have to play that before I bought it. But just the concept of this game um, definitely is very, 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 very thematic. Whenever I was playing it, I was just like, fuck, fuck you. Dude who's playing Wrath, we can't win, there's no way these dice are shit, and we ended up winning. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. I, I need to get all the expansions. He had all the Kickstarter stuff that's slowly coming out for people like me. Uh, I didn't back it, but that is the others. Uh, I, I thought it was, I thought there was more. I thought it was the other seven sins. And, man, did I just, okay. And I believe the last, Nope, there's more. There's more in here, I forgot. <laughs> Survive. I actually already had this game. I let a friend borrow it, and he ended up... I mean, the game, the components and everything was fine, but the box ripped in the corner, um, and he, he paid me back for it because, I mean, if you're going to borrow something, return in the condition, they lent it, lent it to you. This game is super fun. If you don't know what it is, but it's... Oh my god, it's so fun. It kind of freaks me out a little bit because your people basically fall into the ocean and sharks and everything are swimming. It's everything I don't want to happen to me in real life. Uh, the ocean is my top, like my number one fear. Um, if anyone were to drug me and then throw me into the middle of the ocean, uh, I and um, with a knife, I'd kill myself. So that is survive, escape from a knife. I even have the expansion still, so I just need to incorporate that. Next, XCOM Evolution. It is Evolution, right? Yeah, the expansion. I didn't even know they were going to do this. I'm very surprised that they did. Uh, XCOM uh, had, a, had a, an expansion because the base game is already really, 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 really fucking hard. So, uh, I really like the board game, the base game, so I had to get the expansion. I'm sure it just adds more. It, yeah, it, it really, that's all it does, it just adds more to it. I'm sure maybe another variant or something, but that is XCOM, the expansion. Alright, I think, yes, I think this is the last one. It is. And that is Cosmic Eons. I guess this is a callback to another Cosmic game. I'm just going to throw that. Alright, nothing fell out. Cosmic Eons. Uh, I, I have every Cosmic Encounter, Encounter expansion. This was definitely like a must-buy for me. Um, I've been thinking about doing another Cosmic Encounter run-through just because there's so much out for it that one game really doesn't do it justice. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about with games that just have expansions instead of doing a whole nother run through of the expansion. With the expansion, this is doing uh, kind of like what Rado does a talk through, but it, for me, it'd be called a no run through review uh, after trying out these. Um, but Cosmic Cosmic Aeons, I've seen the Dice Tower uh, play it, and they uh, seem to really like it. Um, 
very, very interesting what they were going to add to stuff like this. I almost pretty much bought it for the dials, uh, for that Align Styles. I think that's something that should have been in for the, for the first, I mean, from the base game. Uh, it seems so obvious in hindsight. But that is Cosmic Aeon. So, if you are liking these, these what's in the box, basically a kind of insight into uh, the things I order. Let me see if I can balance all these. Um, and have an interest in any of these. Yeah, I, I got a lot of expansions. Like, I got a lot. Uh, just going to stack all this. Gonna, gonna be awesome about it. Um, and if you're interested in seeing any of these be run through, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, 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 because uh, I'd be more than happy to do these for you. Um, especially, like, uh, I, I have way too much stuff than last time. Last time I, I didn't have as many uh, to do stuff like this. There we go. There we go. Just stay. Just stay. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All right. All right. I got it all. Uh, anyway, if you want to see any of these um, run through or, or reviewed, do my no run through review for the ones that are expansions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, and once again, uh, like I said, if you are liking these, what's in the box? What's in the box? Then also let me know in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to help out the channel, I have my Patreon link right there. If you want to make some suggestions on board games you'd like to see us run through, I have my Board Game Geek list right there. And if you want to just, you know, like the Facebook page, I have my Facebook link right there. And have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.